Welcome everybody to another episode of A Shot of Brandy. I'm your host, Brandy. We're never going to change the name. Uh, I'm never going to change my name. So every week is going to be the same. Unless I change my name. Which happens a lot in wrestling. So maybe I'll change it to, you know, Sherry or something. Then it'd be A Shot of Sherry. But anyways, for now it's still A Shot of Brandy. And I'm your host. And today we have a fantastic guest. One of my favorite people in all of wrestling. I think this person has the potential to have the most watched episode. Without further ado, let's welcome in Mr. Tony Schiavone. Tony! Sherry, how you doing? How you doing, <laughs> Sherry? <laughs> this is awesome. I am, hey. Thanks for inviting me to be here. I'm so, I'm so glad that you're here because, you know, you're a good person in wrestling. Thank Sometimes you. that can be like, you know, a little bit of a unicorn situation. And you like to drink. Right. So... That's perfect for this yeah. show. There's been a rule going with the shot of brandy, and right. that's that everybody got to wash their hands as soon as they come in. Right. So I'm going to set you up right here. Okay. Do a hand wash station. Okay, very good. Tony Schiavone is a fan of the pina colada. Yes, I'm a fan of pina coladas. Let me say that you guys out there may think, oh, that's a lady drink. Bologna. It's not a lady drink. It was developed by pirates in the Caribbean. How about that? There you go. Now you have it. Yeah. Anything I feel like with rum is a great drink. And you all know when you go to the island, you get the pina coladas, you get the strawberry daiquiris, you get the Miami vices, so stop. All right, so we're gonna do the we're gonna do it right. We're okay. gonna do a frozen yeah, today. That's the way to do which it. Which you know the rules of a shot of brandy. At the end you gotta chug if you haven't finished. So unless you want a hell of a brain freeze, yeah. you might want to keep drinking. I'll just I'll I'll take big gulps, but I don't think I'll I will <laughs> I will chug it. All right, so we're gonna start by putting some crushed ice in, in our little blender glass. I like my pina coladas like I like my women. Just cold, cold, cold and brisk. <laughs> How many times do you have to show up on the show? Hey, if you guys are gonna always fault me for always showing up in dynamite segments of his, fault him for always showing up on my segment. This is my show. This is my time. Time is money. You're looking good, by the way. <laughs> we got a little uh, Malibu coconut rum. Yeah, We're going to be a little heavy on it. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. pretty heavy. Okay. All right. Next, we're going to do a little bit of pineapple chunkage. Now, uh, just let me say that my experience is also I've had it. And I think uh, I was at uh, Grand Cayman uh, about two years ago. Yeah. And uh, they fixed me a couple of maybe five or six of them. You can also freeze your pineapple chunks. That's the real way to do it. Right, and if you freeze your pineapple chunks, then when you blend them up, they blend up easier, but... And then you don't have to put yeah. probably as much ice in it right. as I Absolutely. did. But, you know... Everybody's got their own way. Hey, we got some coconut cream. Oh, We're going to put all that coconut cream in there. Yeah, oh, boy. Oh, boy. A lot, a lot happened there. We're going to put a little bit of pineapple juice in there, and then I think we're, we're going to roll on it. Yeah, so do you say Caribbean or Caribbean? Uh, that's... Crazy yeah, because crazy? I think what I say is I think I say Pirates of the Caribbean and yeah. then I think I say the Caribbean. Right. I had a, a, a professor in college. And this was a long time ago. He was a geography professor that told me the proper way to say it is Caribbean. He okay. said Caribbean was developed by some sort of travel agency years ago. So we're gonna. I just love it. Oh! Things start happening real fast. Oh, that looks good. Wow, here we go. All right. We'll, we'll make sure we're evenly distributed here. Mm -hmm. Give it a little mm -hmm. cheers and... I like it. Oh, man. It's very good. Wow, that coconut rum is tremendous. All right. We are going to make pina colada cupcakes. Whoa. Good thing you didn't eat breakfast yet, right? Because <laughs> right. nothing's better for breakfast than a bunch of sugar and alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to task you Okay. With just putting the little cupcake holders in the in the cupcakes or whatever, whatever I, I said, <laughs> and then I'm gonna I'm gonna start the uh, oven. We're gonna the put it at 350. Oh. 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 Carol thinks Carol. that you're a good cook. You look like a live pina colada. Yeah, you do. You look like a live pina colada. You're a good boy. He's not sure about it. But he, no, but he knows, man. He can hear these cupcake things. Yeah. If you're gonna bake, spring for the Kerrygold. 
The Kerrygold is just the best baking butter. I don't know what it is about it, but it is just rich and it's gonna give you that moisture and stuff that you want in your cupcakes and your brownies and your cookies. I'm just gonna make sure that they know that this is six tablespoons okay. of butter that we're putting in here. Okay. okay. We're gonna make Tony another one because he literally wolfed that, was tremendous, wolfed that thing down. That well, let, let's talk a little bit about announcing. Okay. So you, JR mm -hmm. and Excalibur, kind of an iconic team now. Talk to me about working with these guys, uh, you know, week in and week out and calling all this action. Well, a chance to work with JR once again has been tremendous. Yeah. Because we worked together uh, from like, 87 to 92, we worked together. Uh, and that, now, I mean, we're talking about old school days. It's almost a lifetime of JR right there. Yeah, right. And uh... well, JR and I, uh, and the stories are, have not all been told yet, but JR and I roomed together many years, for many years, in 1987 and 1988. And I say roomed together, I was living in Charlotte, and he was living in Dallas, and we were working for Jim Crockett Promotions, and every other week, we would go to Atlanta yeah. to do wrestling, and so we would stay together, and I got to know him very well, and we got to be good friends. And So being able to work with him, again, is great. Excalibur, I wasn't sure, to be honest with you, I wasn't sure I'd never worked with him before, but yeah. I mean, I like what he brings to it. I, you know, he knows the moves, he's, he's very youthful. We all love each other, we really do. We really enjoy every, the company. You know, I, I work with people who I really didn't like before, you working with them now, or? No, oh. I'm talking about in the past. You know, <laughs> I was like, tea? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I got to do some um, some weeks with Chris Jericho. Yes. Love doing that. Really? Oh, you, yeah. uh, does it bother you that he calls you Skiavone, no. knowing no. your name is not Skiavone? That's what he called me. You know, I, I feel like I was a part of Jericho's career from the beginning, because back in the old WCW days, that's what he used to call me, Skiavone. So you're saying he owes you? Yes. Okay. I was holding the mic for that some bitch <laughs> years ago, I, and and man, you know he's a great story. He is a just when I think about okay, so I'm sorry, what are we doing here? Sir? That's okay. We're getting ready to cream the sugar and butter together. So we're putting three quarters of a cup of sugar, mm -hmm. which I think we're right on the money. A little heavy, but sweetness is is goodness. Mm. Um, so we're gonna cream that together, and um, we're gonna cream it for about three or four minutes. I'll actually try to time it because it's got to really, really get blended. When it comes to baking, you kind of want to be precise on things. You can really botch it. We're going to put it on like a medium setting, not too high. And, and we'll keep checking on it. Oh, yeah, that might be a little too high. No, maybe we'll go a little higher to start. There we go. And then we'll bring it down. But yeah, we just wanted to all get, make friends here in the bowl. I'm going to push uh, everything down a little bit just to make sure it's all getting combined together. I mean, I'd love it. And, and now this is nice and creamed, meaning it's all combined, it's smooth. So we're gonna add six tablespoons of sour cream. Now, Tony, do you know why sour cream is a part of baking so much? Uh, because it's good. <laughs> okay, that's the only answer I have, so know why. I'm gonna tell you something okay. that also pisses people off about me a lot. I don't know. <laughs> so we'll mix this in. Well, when I go home, I'll ask Lois because she's a freaking know-it-all. Oh. Or you could ask that dumbass dentist friend of yours because I'm sure she knows. Do you, Tony, do you just see what she did to me? Yeah, yeah. Why did she do that? Why does she think she can just hit people with a shoe all the time and get away with okay. it? Everybody asks me about her because... You're friends. You're friends. You have a special well, relationship. Have a special relationship. Because I started doing interviews with her, and I kind of work with her in interviews, but I hate to say this because I don't like to shit on my friends, but I think she just wants to be relevant. Oh, man. Okay, I think she just wants to be relevant. I mean, we're talking about a match that she had no reason to be there, right? Yeah, she I mean, was just she there no in the audience, right. just watching. Just and the watch. guy was already getting beat up. QT was getting beat up real bad already. Right. She saw her spot. She's thinking, I want to be relevant. I want to be part of this. I want to make my mark in, in the women's division of AEW, so I'll do this, and that's why. Well, I'm telling you, somebody is going to get her ass. Yeah. Do you think she's a good guy, like a good person? Do you think she's like lost right now or something? Yeah, uh, there's part of me that thinks that she's lost, but there's also part of me that thinks that, boy, we're, she really 
Yes, yeah, that's who she really is. Yeah. I mean, I love her, but I'm not so sure I'd let her approach me with the drill in my mouth. That one, you know, something yeah. will change with her yeah. because she's you know really... What I love about you? Honestly, you speak your mind. I do. I mean, you know, it. no, it, but it's good. I mean, you, you know, there's in, in the wrestling business, and I've been in it for so long, people have feelings and they hold on to them and it just makes for bad things. But if people speak their mind, tell you how you feel, I think it's very important. I appreciate it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Who just came in the door? Oh, Cody. Oh, okay. There he goes again. Where have you been? We're, we're, we ran. Oh, you ran. Okay. How, how much did you run? Two miles. Uh, it's probably about a mile. Okay. He really, really how over. You, how much you run? Okay. On that, that fatty milk right there. How much uh, this is egg whites. You're supposed to add three egg whites. You right. can um, get a container of egg whites like this and measure it out. And it says right here on the carton, you know, X, a third of a cup is two eggs, three fourths of a cup is four eggs. So we'll do a half a cup for three. Or you can just do it. You could crack the eggs and just use the whites. But this seemed a lot uh, simpler to me. Yeah, this, these are egg whites, whites, not fat milk. <laughs> to says the guy who, who ran. Definitely not two miles because he was not gone long enough to have run two miles. All right, so we're going to add that in, mix it up nicely. And then um, whenever, you know, you're adding eggs, just be careful for it to not turn to scramble because <laughs> that can happen. So you right. don't want to do it way too high because right. you'll scramble your eggs and it'll be weird. So how, how much of the flour do we use? Oh, not a lot. It's uh, one and a quarter cups. So this is my big old cup so you can use that guy this is bob's all-purpose flare i knew bob before he was yeah. making flour yep he's a, good guy? he's a great guy i i was always wondering about that you know is bob cool or is anybody bob? puts your name on flour has got to be a good guy <laughs> okay yeah we're good two teaspoons two teaspoons yep and then in the meantime i'm gonna pour pineapple juice in on this mixture which is a quarter cup Yeah, so we're gonna add half and half and mix it up and watch it start to solidify. Okay. I think that's about. Now this is where it gets, you know, you gotta keep pushing down on the sides to make sure you're getting it all, all right. in. Needing more of that, Tony? I need to text my wife to have her come pick me up. <laughs> Would, well, she might come here and start drinking it too, and then. It. We don't, because she'll take over the world. We can, we don't need that. I love my wife. I've been with her 38 years, but. Lois seems like a real, like a, a brandy type of gal. Like. Oh yeah. I mean, she absolutely, she loves you. She's a force. One of my requirements on cupcakes is they have to be extremely moist. They have to be, if it's dry at all, I hate it. Like if there's any dryness at all to the consistency of the cupcake, it's not for me. All right, we got pineapple chunks. I'm gonna put four tablespoons of pineapple chunks in here. We're gonna put a little bit of this uh, coconut rum in here, which is also gonna go in the frosting, so these are gonna be a double dose. Notice how she doesn't measure the rum. Nope. She just... A little less than half of a cup. We'll go about there. Okay. That way we don't end up with like something that's not gonna actually cook. <laughs> Okay. Remember, it's got to be really moist in the middle. Got to be moist, but it, it has to be able to cook <laughs> right. in some fashion. All right. It appears that we are good. All right. Is there a certain uh, level you need to put this at? In other words, you can't fill it all the way up. You right? probably don't want to go that far. Halfway, maybe? About halfway is good. Okay. I think I'm getting sloppier on this. I'm sorry. Well, you know, it is a hard thing to do. Yeah, especially when you're talking. <laughs> but so, the, the, the main thing is the end result, right. which it's going to come out, you know, tasting great. So right. that's, that's what we right. really so, got to worry about. 350 degrees for 15 to 17 minutes. So what we're going to do then is set it for 16, and then we'll check it out at that point in time. Thank you, Mr. Shivani. You're welcome. In we go. All right, so let's set that's our time. Is Janelle and I take it up top? No, they're both... Oven ovens. Oven ovens. Yeah. There we go. While those uh, cupcakes are in the oven, mm. we will make our frosting. Said room temperature mm -hmm. 
which I forgot. So it had been in the fridge. Mm -hmm. So what I thought was, well, we'll just, you know, yeah, throw it in the uh, microwave for 30 seconds. Probably should have been about 10. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, we got it. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, things. Wait, you need more of your drink. Or do you not need more? No, I'll take more. Okay. A little bit. But you just you just do it and then you put it in your thing and then you stir it up with your plastic straw. So let's go ahead and take them out okay. now because I think they should be fine. We're gonna let them cool while we do the frosting. Okay. And um, frosting, I actually here. Let me take these over here. Yeah, before I burn my countertops. So for the frosting, we have um, I already forgot how much, but I said it earlier of uh, the butter. Mm -hmm. Again, we use the Kerrygold because that's my favorite for anything baking wise. We've got a half a cup of shortening. We're gonna start creaming those together. And then uh, we've got five whole cups of powdered sugar, which only tells me that there's gonna be way too much frosting. Let me ask you something about this. A, a bit of a time here. Do you have a speed on your uh, KitchenAid there mm -hmm. that, uh, that says it's creamer speed or do you, do you just know? I'm just paying it. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. See, I'm watching. I'm watching. <laughs> and, uh, you know, kind of trying to keep it together as we go. But, you know, things, things happen. All right, so that's good. So we're, let's add some more. But, oh God, that's also why you add a little bit at a time. Because, oh, it's not off all the way. <laughs> I was like, whose phone is that? Hey, we're shooting a show here. Take time. And not only that, we're having a good time. And why are you continuously we are, we trying are. to be a part of the show? We are fellowshipping, we are bonding, okay? Nepotism. Do you have to have your face always Come on, on a now. shot of brandy? Is it not enough for you to be married to me? It's another episode of Shot of Brandy, and there's Cody. Has to be on it again. Sorry, I learned it. <laughs> hey, Love you, buddy. you'll be back, I'm sure. Put the coconut extract in. I don't remember how much it's supposed to be, so whatever. Amen to that. You know. <laughs> We're looking very good. I'm gonna give um, a little, little bit of a try. Wow. Whoa. Still <laughs> a little bit, a little bit of that pineapple juice. It's real sweet. <laughs> real sweet. I mean, it tastes like frosting. So that's good. All right, so we'll try to cut some of the acidity there mm. with this. Oh! We're going to try and get as much. Let me hang on this for you. Preach. Appreciate it, man. That's what she said. <laughs> that, that's what this has come to, this show. Just how many times can it get said? We'll try to squeeze it on down and see what, what actually happens. There you go. Oh God, it's well, it literally it shaking. There, there we go. go. <gasps> huh? Ah! Oh! Isn't that great? It's scaring me. There you go. <gasps> Man, that girl knows how to decorate Look a cupcake. At this. Huh? Awesome. I'll let you take it from here. Mm -hmm. And then I'll get our cherries ready. Mm -hmm. He did a better job than me. I gotta, I gotta say. Well, I'm squeezing hard. That's what she said! <laughs> <laughs> right there. There we go. Okay. All right. So we're going to throw our cherry on top here. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to pull the cherry off and eat it first? No, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> They're really tasty. They really are. That's full of some stuff there. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Wow. So mm. I'm going to say these came off of the bottom row. Right. So the ones that came off the top row made it through all the way. Mm -hmm. What I'll say, I guess, then is go with the top and the middle. Don't go with the bottom. And then I, those I'll just pop back in for another five minutes or so. Well, and they'll yeah, be fine. Yeah. That's, that's what you're looking for right there. This was an epic episode of A Shot of Brandy. We've come to the end of the episode, and this is the point at which you got to get rid of everything you got. Too late. Three down. Seriously? Yeah. Do you want to do, oh, we have shot of brandy shot glasses. Okay. Forgot about them. I'm going to make you a shot. Everybody, 
Got to get the new Shot of Brandy shot glasses on sale. Shop AEW. It's essential for everything, every time you watch the show. What I'm going to do is make you just a little pineapple shot. A pineapple shot? Yeah. We're just going to, you know, a little pineapple juice. Wow. little I've Malibu. A pineapple shot. I literally think it's just this. And Cheers. Cheers to you. Thank you, buddy. Got to drink it all, girl. Was it good? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Yay! We'll see you next time. I'm going in.